Hey, come see us on tour. We're going to be in Los Angeles, Columbus, Ohio, Dayton, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Lexington, Kentucky, Burbank, California, and Honolulu. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for tickets. I don't know if you saw Kamala Harris had an interview with Brett Bayer, and it didn't go well, uh, but there was... What's funny was they all a lot of, a lot of the news organizations described it exactly the same. They Kamala's testy interview with Fox News has the mainstream media all repeating the same line. This is from James Lee. There's obviously something going on here. So I dug deeper, and what I found is maybe not the conspiracy you expect, but perhaps even worse. So let's watch this. What is going on here? Yesterday, Kamala Harris had a big interview on Fox News, and the mainstream media coverage looks very sus. Essentially, the same take across multiple outlets. All by the way, for them saying that Kamala Harris's interview was testy, that's sexist because that's based on testicles. Oh, and I can't say <laughs> I can't say the other word that goes there, or else I'll be demonetized. But anyway, there you go. Using the word. Testy. Testy. Kamala Harris spars in Fox News anchor in Testy interview. Kamala Harris defends economic plan in Testy Fox News interview. Look at that. Testy, Testy, Testy. Testy. Jack Ramaswamy says, never seen the word testy used so ubiquitously at the same time. The media's level of coordination, even in their choice of language, makes one wonder how free our free press really is. So today, we're going to try to figure out what's really going on here. Is it the CIA Operation Mockingbird? Could be, right? Large scale intelligence operation, infiltrating media organizations for propaganda purposes, could very well be. A couple of fun quotes, you could get a journalist cheaper than a good call girl for a couple hundred dollars a month. And that was a CIA operative discussing with Philip Graham, editor of the Washington Post. The Central Intelligence Agency owns everyone of any significance in major media. William Colby, former CIA director. There is quite an incredible spread of relationships. You don't need to manipulate Time Magazine, for example, because there are Central Intelligence Agency people at the management level. William B. Bader, former CIA officer. Now, supposedly that program was halted decades ago, but some say that it is still very much alive today. I mean, just look up Catherine Marr. She is the head of NPR, and uh, just take a look at some of her intelligence, alleged intelligence background, alleged. Now, I spread I think this about her. There also could be another possibility, I think more probable. Some would say less insidious, but I actually think it's way, way worse, which is this. News agencies like the Associated Press, Reuters, and Agence France Presse, the AFP, act as intermediaries between campaign and media outlets by collecting and distributing news to media outlets. So basically, the Kamala campaign can draft an article. Send it to AP, use these exact words, right? The exact framing that they want, a testy exchange with Fox News, and AP will distribute this to everybody else. And most of the time, the results are like this. They will just take almost verbatim what the initial PR release is and maybe edit it a little bit. But this is why you get this kind of repetitive language. So is that better or worse than the CIA controlling journalists? I don't know. Might be... I mean, I think it might be worse because that means that journalists are just willing to parrot whatever the campaign wants them to parrot, because at the end of the day, they all want that access. So with that, I will close with the wise words of Noam Chomsky, who said any dictator would admire the uniformity and obedience of the U.S. media. Hitler did. Hey, uh, this is like a well-known thing that nobody does any reporting. They just buy stories. There's like they, all the stories on all the major networks. They're buying from AP. And where he's like, it's either or. No, it's not either or. CIA, who do you think's running AP? It's called a cutout. <laughs> it's both. It's both. The reason it's like that is because of CIA. That's why they can say, we stop doing that. Get it? So now they're not directly doing it like they used to. Just like the like National how- Endowment for Democracy. They can say, no, it's National Endowment for Democracy doing it, not the CIA. That's what cut out. I, when, when I first heard the term cut out, Aaron Mate told me what it meant. I had never heard of it. But that's so we can say, no, we don't pay him to do that. We pay a guy to pay a guy to do, do that. And they're all trained monkeys that just do whatever we tell, you know, whatever we hand them. Like, that's, that's why you're like, oh, what are they, a CIA agent? No, these morons aren't even in on it. They're stenographers and, and like, you know, actors and dipshits. And $100 a month, yeah, they, they don't pay him shit. 
Most of them have to be rich to get into it now because it doesn't really pay. That's why only rich twits like your Taylor, uh, what's her name's, could be at the Washington Post. Yeah, you bet. You came from a good family and went to uh, Columbia for journalism, and it's okay. You got all these crushing school debt because you're rich anyway. So then you can do an internship, right, and not get paid. Then you get paid too little. Or my girlfriend used to work at the Getty. All these maniacs still wearing masks. They're all rich kids, and they're deathly afraid of getting their parents sick because they're like, my parents, can get, they have to show devotion to their rich parents, you know, because they're losers that work at this Getty Museum and haven't done anything. So they, they overplay how concerned they are about their elderly folks. It's, it's like it's so simple to make this happen. And uh, Noam Chomsky's right. Uh, he said that. And uh, also he said there's nothing more further with JFK you need to look into. Yeah. <laughs> So here, here's what, remember the, what Orff said? Watch, there's, there's, here's a similar thing that happened. Watch this. This version of Biden, intellectually, analytically, is the best Biden ever. He <laughs> is sharp, intensely probing, and detail-oriented and focused. For example, we have a thousand trillionaires in America. I mean, billionaires in America. This is a man who is sharp, who is on top of his game, who knows what's going on. He's smart. He's on his game. His mental acuity is great. This is a very sharp president. Um, and the people that I've talked to say he's, he's as sharp as a tack. He, he's fine. They say he's sharp. There's, there's not a problem. He was sharp. He was sharper than anyone I've spoken to. The president uh, is sharp and he is tireless. He is sharp. As sharp as ever. And um, he's, he's, he's fine. All this right-wing propaganda that his mental acuity is declined is wrong. His brain is good. He's still great. He is sharp in meetings. I believe the people who say that behind closed doors, Joe Biden remains sharp. In meetings, Joe Biden is is sharp. He's sharp. He's fit. Um, there is nothing to these challenges, these suggestions that somehow he's not sharp. He's sharp as a tech. Making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person uh, uh, eligible for what I've been able to do with the uh, with, with, with the COVID. Excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with. Uh, Look, if <laughs> Jesus, we finally beat Medicare. Thank you, President uh, Biden, <laughs> President Trump. <laughs> He's right. He did beat Medicare. He beat it to death. <laughs> Actually, Joe Biden is sharper and has more mental acuity than Donald Trump. Because more people believe that actually Joe Biden... It's middle acuity is better than Donald Trump. I mean, he's he's sharp as he's funny, sharp as a tack. Kamala Harris says he is up to this task. He's you know sharp as a tack, and he's smart. He's energetic. One of the themes this election cycle is that Joe Biden is too old to lead, and so everyone is seizing upon this. And it is a classic disinformation tactic. If you edit it in such a way, you can make it appear that he fits this narrative, that he is slow, that he is uh, wandering off. I got my handicap, which when I was vice president, down to a six. Uh, and but by the way, I told you before, I'm happy to play golf if you carry your own bag. Think you can do it? That's the biggest lie that he's a six handicap of all. I was an eight handicap. Eight. Never. President Biden has proven himself to have a strong memory. He has a great memory. His mind is just as quick as ever. He is sharp enough. If Biden was sharp and on top of it. President Biden is sharp. He's focused. He's bright. The president is sharp as a tack. He's, he's as sharp as a tack, as in good for holding a postcard to a wall. Anyway. Yeah, you know, sharp Jimmy, as Jimmy, Jimmy. What? I know when I sometimes, when I personally, when I accidentally sit on a tack, I laugh for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we could stop it there. That's a, that's an amazing uh, compilation. He's still better than Kamala. Uh, you know what? I'm happy after watching this video. And after Kamala, I feel drained. I want to take a nap. Uh, isn't he's it, better than Kamala. And isn't he, it amazing right. how they all use the exact same words? What? He's sharp. sharp he's sharp and he's focused. He's sharp as attack. He's sharp as attack. He's sharp as attack. Behind closed doors, he's sharp as attack. It's hypnosis. So that that's why you hear people repeat that to you verbatim. They're being hypnotized. Yeah. That's the whole reason. It's just like ad. Look, you know how you get ad copying? You got to say their points. You hit these points for sure. It's like that, but times 11. And that's why people say that's Putin propaganda that we got to run to the, the terrorists run to the sound of the guns. We fight them there. So we don't fight them yeah, here. Yes. Boop, 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 boop. 
Hey, come see us on tour. We're going to be in Los Angeles, Columbus, Ohio, Dayton, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Lexington, Kentucky, Burbank, California, and Honolulu. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets. Mm-hmm.